Thank you. Back into session, please. Okay. Call on the tellers for the Mark Protection Committee election to give their report, please. The first round was Donald. The second round was Judy. And the third round was Stephen. Thank you. We have the glory details. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll pass those to the secretary for the minutes. Thank <laughs> Tell us, thank Move you very much. to destroy much. the ballots. Second, yeah. Second, second. Any objection to destroying ballots? Seeing none, they will be destroyed after the meeting. And congratulations to the winners. Right, we have two items of business now, uh, D6 and D7. Uh, they're both pretty small. The first one, item D6, has five minutes, just adds or comic to the title of 337. Does anybody wish to speak for this motion? D6. I remain Andrew Adams. Uh, I was part of the uh, Hugo Discussion Committee from the last year. Um, this was uh, an item that came up by one of the um, comics uh, authors who was part of our discussions, and he felt very strongly that the description of graphic story amongst the um, comic authors and artist community um, felt disrespectful to their art form where they mostly call them comics. Um, I was part of the uh, business meetings that passed this um, Hugo category and I'm aware that that was absolutely not our intent when we called it graphic story. Um, I don't actually think that we're changing the um, content of this category at all. We are simply aligning it to be more respectful of the artists that, uh, uh, who are eligible for this work um, while maintaining the breadth that was the intent when we named it Graphic Story in the first place. So I, I heartily recommend that, that we adopt this change. Thank you. Anybody wish to speak against this motion? Seeing no, ah, one, mo one speaker. Elliot Mitchell. Um, may maybe I am just reading this in a weird way, but I, I feel that the Constitution should remain with graphic stories to avoid the comedy um, reading of that, whereas it could be a clarification in all the advertising in, of this that it's say comic. Thank you. Any further speakers in favor of the motion? Cliff. I remain Cliff Dunn. Uh, that is why we did not go for best comic or graphic story because we felt that would engender the confusion you're thinking of. We went with the phrasing in question because it means graphic story or comic, comic having a general understanding being a certain form of visual medium. Thank you. Any speakers against? Further speaker for? Seeing none, we will move to a vote. Those in favor of passing this the first time, please show. Those against? Few motion is passed and we'll go to uh, next year in Dublin. <coughs> Somebody has pinched my pen. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. Right. Yes. We have one further item at this point, item D7, notability still matters. We have five minutes on it, and it merely tidies up some uh, infelicities related to EPH and making sure that we report all the stuff uh, as we always have. I wish to speak in favor of this motion, Dave, as a maker.
My name is Dave McCarty. I am this year's Hugo Administrator. Um, when we adopted EPH, we changed the reporting rules for nominations to say reporting the last 10 rounds of nominations, uh, last 10 elimination rounds in EPH, which will report 16 items, which is roughly the 15 items that we had been reporting previously. But we had an additional criteria prior to this that said that items that were not on at least 5% of the ballots may be omitted from, from the reporting so that you didn't have to report long tail items of lots of things getting single digit uh, nominations. As a Hugo administrator of the Retro Hugos, I have a wonderful list of data with lots of single digit nominations and it just doesn't look good to me to report that way. As the administrator, I'd prefer not to report that. And it used to be under the administrator's power. I believe that this wasn't done purposefully. I think we just missed putting the notability check in when we adopted the EPH language. And I think that we should put it back in so that our current rules are more in line with what we've done historically. Thank you, Dave. Any speakers against this motion? Kate. Sorry, I'm shorter than Dave. Uh, I'm Kate Secor, and I have concerns about this because I think that as the field has become more diverse, and as there are more markets for things like short stories, we are gonna see wider splits in the voting. We are gonna see more things in the long tail. That doesn't make them less worthy. It just means that there's more stuff for us to celebrate. I would hate for us to not be pointing people towards those works just because in a fee, you know in one year there were several hundred things that people wanted to nominate. Our field is awesome and it's getting bigger and we should be celebrating that even if it means that some things are not getting the votes that they might have gotten because of that wide spread. Speech in favor of the motion. Andrew. And still, Andrew Adams. Um, I'm sympathetic to Kate's points, but I believe the uh, optional wording in the amendment uh, deals with that. Um, I think very specifically Dave's point about things which get one or two or maybe three, particularly in the, in the bigger categories like, uh, where we have large numbers of nominations like novel, um, are not worth reporting. Those things which do get a significant number which, but which would fall out are at the administrator's discretion and I think we should trust our administrators to know the difference between something which is useful information and celebratory information and just noise in the machine and that's what Dave's proposal is doing it's giving the administrators the power to give us good information thank you speech against oh, with the, with the <laughs> waving the banner <laughs> joe van eckern i was last year's hugo packet coordinator and in that role i got to see a great deal of the behind the scenes sausage making under hugo administrator nicholas white and had quite a few discussions with him about how things worked out and what decisions were made and why they were made i disagree with this amendment because i think we're at the point in terms of participation where the five percent is really not an issue anymore if we've got somebody at the end of that 10 rounds they're going to be pretty close to five percent if they don't quite make it i don't think that we're getting into the trivial one or two nominations area as far as that long tail and i'd really like to see as kate says those extra entries on that list because it's an important record of our history of the things that we felt important enough to nominate. Thank you. Thank you. Speech in favor. Don. Hmm? I'm Donald Eastlake. Uh, I move to strike out five and insert four in this amendment. Move to strike out five and insert four. Uh, for the percentages, you mean, right. Speech in favor of five, uh, four percent. Don, do you wish to speak to? Uh, I, I think that, that, that the uh, five percent is a little too harsh and that uh, four percent would be better. Speech against four percent. Seeing none. Speech, any more speeches on four percent, five percent? 
We will vote on the amendment then. Those in favour of the amendment to move to 4%, please show.